Well, good morning, folks. Robert here, Fort Creek Ranch, amazing grazing. Cows and bull and uh, heifer, new to the herd cinnamon. Enjoying the shade. It's real comfortable back here. Little oasis. Still waiting on this one to give us another. <laughs> it's a little warmer out here. I did wind up mowing what was uh, grazed because we are having a rain coming in. So this is what they left. I didn't back fence this little area here just so they could get to these trees. It was just easier for me to do it that way. So it's a big difference between this and this. Mainly just did it to get, I just wanted to stunt the growth on this dogwood or uh, dog fennel but it's probably just going to pop right on back I, for all I know I helped it out but we'll see so we'll take a walk over here we do have some dung beetle action and uh, their manure is getting a little uh I'm seeing a stacked up manure here and there. So the uh, forage here, not as much protein. So I think I need to move them a little quicker. But a lot of, most of it's looking good. That, that's a pretty good pat right there. But this is where we're headed in this direction. And for uh, nearing, uh, what is it, third week of July coming up, we're looking real good. By the time we come back here, it'll be uh, approaching winter. And this should be you know two three feet high probably three feet high and we'll be good for uh for winter won't need any hay again so that's the uh conundrum you need more cows to keep up in the winter or in the summer but in the winter I have just enough cows to make it through this 12 acres with no hay. So what do you do? Show you my water set up. So this is uh, the water wagon. Got a uh, a hose, a pump. Go ahead and cross over here. This is just gravity fed. Holds uh, 275 gallons. And I just pull this down to the pond. And uh, pump the water from the pond straight into the uh, container. IBC tote Here's old trusty this thing's 52 years old, but it sure does the job Got no complaints A lot of dog fennel I hate it 
I don't mind a little bit of it, but if you got a little bit of it, you're going to have more of it next year. Time is our friend. Get up to about one, one cow per acre, maybe a little more. Then I know I'll greatly uh, better these pastures faster. I'll probably have to buy a little hay then, which that's okay. But they got that little haven back there. Got to give them some, some shade out here. I'm, I'm working out on a farm, on a different farm, you know, installing gates, building fences running their tractor, mowing all their pastures. It's a horse farm, real nice lady. And uh, I do that about three days a week, only for half a day. And then I do a little carpentry on the side, odd jobs. But it's hot. I get out there, you know, I try to get out there and do my uh, farm work early in the morning, but it's not happening today. I'm gonna be out there in the heat of the day today. And uh, I, 15 minutes in, my shirt's drenched. My underwear, my pants, it is just humid and hot. Low 90s, but really high humidity. It's a beautiful life. All right, well, you all take care.